Best believe I punched Keanu Reeves and it was better than any scene you could see in Speed. Hello my dude, Steph Goes here and today I'm talking about the new Netflix original movie, Always Be My Maybe. My hair looks really stupid right now. One second. <sighs> Much better. Okay. Always be my maybe. Let's do this thing! So this movie stars Ali Wong and Randall Park. It is also co-written by the two of them. And it's your typical rom-com, very simple premise. Basically two childhood friends, played by Park and Wong, grow up and fall for each other. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. The plot reminded me a little bit of the movie Just Friends, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And it's definitely very different from that movie, but there are a lot of similarities. It follows a sort of like the one that got away premise, packed full of early 2000s, 90s nostalgia, and everything that you love about a classic rom-com with a perfect blend of Asian American culture sort of sprinkled on top. And I just loved it. I just loved it so much. It was so pure. It was so great. Oh my god. Park and Wong are just so unbelievably likable in these roles, and their chemistry falls into this very natural rhythm that carries for the rest of the movie. The fact that they wrote this screenplay together probably plays a huge part in the like upbeat fun rhythm that the movie has, and it flows so smoothly through this like weird, quirky, but somehow also very realistic story with like perfect pacing and weird yet relatable characters. Netflix is just like slowly building up this arsenal of movies that you can just watch at home in your living room with no pants on. And it's it's great. It's like endlessly memeable, this movie, but somehow still manages to hold this charm and maintain like a cinematic artistry while also being memeable if that could even be possible. I love that the Asian American culture is so delicately folded into this movie in a very natural way. Like we just kind of fell into this world and I just want to live there and curl up with a bowl of ramen or like whatever Ali Wong is cooking because she plays a chef in this movie and everything that she makes looks amazing. A lot of food porn in this movie. Honestly, it's just a classic feel-good rom-com movie that I feel like this era of Hollywood is missing. It's nothing more, it's nothing less, it's like just enough to be thoughtful and moving and endlessly funny. It felt a bit like a film you would have seen in like 2009. And I think I would give this movie a high rating regardless of what I'm about to talk about, but it would be a lie if I said that the fact that Keanu Reeves is in this movie playing a pretentious, over-the-top celebrity version of himself didn't improve my rating just a little. There's a particular scene with Keanu when they're in a restaurant eating dinner. It's him, Park, Wong, and Vivian Bang, who also plays an amazing, wonderful character in this film named Jenny. But there's this restaurant scene, and I'm not gonna get into it because it's spoilers and it's honestly like the best scene in the entire movie, but it's just so bizarre and absolutely ridiculous and wild that I just could not stop laughing, mostly due to Keanu's stellar performance. Just the best. The best. He brings a very weird charm to this movie and it is so enjoyable. Side note, I love how Keanu is just like slowly and quietly taking over the world. Like he's just in everything right now. Like John Wick, just came out. He's in Toy Story and I keep seeing a bunch of things like behind the scenes videos on the internet with him. He's in Cyberpunk 2077, which is awesome by the way. He's in Always Be My Maybe. He's just like everywhere. He's all over the place and I love everything about it. Keanu for President 2020. I would say the only downfall of this film is that it has kind of an inevitable ending. Like any rom-com, it kind of leaves a bit to be desired in the realm of like surprise or plot twist. There's not really any mind-boggling plot twist except maybe the fact that Keanu shows up and like his role in the film, but it's in the trailer so you kind of know it's coming. And I think the script almost feels a bit too casual at times. Like maybe it's just Wong and Park's like really casual 
believable realistic chemistry but it just felt very casual like I kind of felt like I was just watching an improv scene between two friends who like didn't really know how far to take the improv maybe that's just like the tone of this new era of Netflix films like they all kind of have that weird quirky charm to them but I think it just left like the tiniest bit to be desired just the tiniest bit I can say that I will definitely watch this movie again absolutely probably at like 1 a.m. drunk with friends or in the background on a rainy day but I kind of love movies like that don't you so all in all I'm going to give always be my maybe a 4.5 out of 5 I would say this was a nearly perfect film I truly enjoyed it it was so so pure and so so funny absolutely hilarious in a way that was so unexpected so yeah that's my review of Always Be My Maybe. Did you see Always Be My Maybe? Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I'm really into reviewing Netflix movies because I don't have to leave my apartment and that is always a plus. So if there's any good Netflix movies that just came out or maybe that have been out for a while and I just don't know about, let me know in the comments what a good Netflix movie is because maybe I'll watch it and maybe I'll review it. Who knows? But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Steph Koza. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to like this video if you liked it because more people will see it if more people like it. Science or something. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.